I bless each one of you today. We are going into a little bit in the book of Proverbs because this is what the Lord really laid on me to study with you guys about wisdom, fear of the Lord, wisdom and understanding. And I think you could probably catch that through all my videos. We need, um, definitely need understanding and you need wisdom. And, you know, you pray for the Lord to fill you up with his knowledge and his wisdom and his understanding of the word because he wants you in the word and you got to know what his word is talking about. So I asked you all as you log on to play on my videos to get your notebooks and just start writing away these notes. So copy that down if you can. We're going to Proverbs chapter 4. I'm going to start in verse 5. I'm going to hold this right here for you. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. So it's Proverbs 4, 5. Get wisdom, get understanding. Do not forget nor turn from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake her. She will preserve you, her being wisdom. Love her and she will keep you. Wisdom is the principal thing. Write that down. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. Very important. And in all you're getting, get understanding. So underline wisdom and underline understanding. So in all, therefore get wisdom and in all you're getting, get understanding, exalt her and she will promote you. She will bring you honor when you embrace her. She will place on your head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory. She will deliver to you. Okay. Talking about wisdom. Okay. So let's talk about some fear of the Lord. Let's, let's go over this. King Solomon urges us to get wisdom because wisdom is the principal thing. Okay, he then tells us to get understanding as well. So wisdom is knowing the truth and how to apply it to any, any given situation. While understanding is knowing, um, I'm sorry, understanding is knowledge shaped by wisdom and insight. So I have that right here. Wisdom is knowing the truth and how to apply it. Knowledge is wisdom shaped by wisdom and insight. And what is insight? It's a very good understanding of something. Okay, very good understanding. So the words wisdom or wise and understanding occur over 140 times in the book of Proverbs, y'all. The pursuit of knowledge in and of itself produces nothing more than just data. So just to go after knowledge does mean nothing. Unless you're going to understand it and do it, right? So an accumulation of facts that are useless to us if we do not properly apply them to life's situations. Be a doer. Be a doer. Wisdom then must be our priority rather than knowledge because the knowledge without the wisdom and understanding means nothing. It's meaningless, okay? So... um and you go on over to Proverbs 9, 10. Let's see what that says. Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10. Go back a page here. 9, 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. First step towards being very wise. Okay. Where am I at? And the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Okay. So let's talk about <clears throat> the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. So without a respectful fear and knowledge of the creator of the universe, there is no wisdom or understanding. Okay. Now write that down. Fear of the Lord is a healthy respect and reverence for who God is and for what he commands. And having fear of the Lord produces what? Wise, healthy actions from us. So we have to get wisdom and understanding, right? Yes, we do. So um, in Psalms 14, one declares, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. The one who fears and reverences the Lord is considered wise, while the one who denies God is a fool. And we've been over older videos about foolish talk and all that stuff, didn't we? So our attention of wisdom begins with our relationship with God. 
That wisdom grows as we draw closer to the Lord and our relationship with him deepens as we begin to know his nature and his ways. So therefore, revere and honor the Lord, his reproofs and his instructions and advice with humility, knowing that from these come wisdom and understanding. The results will be patience, discernment, favor, prosperity, and safety, which you can read that through Proverbs three thirteen through 18 and uh, Proverbs um, 8, 12 through 21. I mean, you, you could keep on going with this, y'all. But it's so important to have a fear of the Lord and to have wisdom and understanding. And you must pray for it and you must seek it. So how do you seek it? You go in his word and go for it. Go look for it. And I told you, be a doer. See how important it is to be a doer? So important, y'all. I don't just say that for nothing in my videos. God wants doers. God wants doers. And if you look in my description, my little group right here, of you guys that come to my channel and do my studies, the t-shirts are out. God wants doers with the Bible verse. And on the back, it says, be a doer. And it may bring somebody to ask you a question. What does that mean, be a doer? There's your open chance to witness to somebody. Go get it. I told you. And thank you to the ones that have purchased it. So that's pretty cool. I hope you wear it. And I hope it opens a door for you to witness to somebody that needs to know what a doer is. Tell them. Don't be shy. Tell them. But either way, I'll put it in the description and uh, go get it. And because um, you are my group of doers, we're God's group of doers. We do for Jesus, right? And I think that's a great way. And, I, you know, I didn't know what I told y'all. I kept saying, be a doer. And yesterday I made a video. I was like, y'all, I said, maybe I should make a shirt. Be a doer, right? And that will open the door to somebody asking, what does that mean? There's your chance to tell somebody about the love and the forgiveness of Jesus Christ and save a soul, you know, get another soul into heaven. Anyway, when I hung, when I got the video done, I said, okay, I said, I got to my side. I said, how am I going to make this shirt? And I heard God say, put on it what you said, be a doer. Be a doer for God. Be a doer. So I said, well, you know what, God? That's what I'm going to do. So that's what I did. Look in the comments section. But most of all, fear of the Lord. Have a healthy respect and reverence for who God is and for what he commands. Makes you wise, healthy. Make sure your actions are wise, healthy. Um, and and it, that's what it produces in you. So get wisdom and understanding. Write all this down. You can go on further with your studies. I just thought this was very important for you to know right now to jot down in your study book. I don't want to hold you too long, y'all. But God bless each one of you. And uh, let's be doers. We need wise, healthy actions. Let's be doers. He tells us all how to in the Bible. All right. God bless each one of you. If you don't know Jesus, ask him to be your savior. Okay. And then thank him for saving you. And then go get to know him and learn how to be a doer. Okay, because God wants doers. He sure does. And go get a t-shirt because that's a great way to open the door to uh, witness to somebody that don't know what that means. Or to a Christian that doesn't know they need to be a doer because they're not doing their studies. They don't know and they're lost. So let's go get it. God bless each one of you. I love each one of you. And thank you to those of you that just bought one. God bless.